Thales has offered its compact Airmaster CAESA radar for India's LCH, IMRH, and naval helicopters, promising a 30% reduction in weight, size, and power use. The single unit design and optical cabling enable wide area coverage with minimal integration effort. With smart features like 4P polarization for clear visuals in adverse Indian weather, dual range tracking, and AI driven autonomy, the radar boosts detection and crew efficiency. Predictive maintenance and fault tolerant architecture further enhance reliability, supporting India's modernizing rotary wing fleet across land and sea. In a major boost to India's unmanned surveillance capability, IIT Compers VU Dynamics has unveiled the VU 60FW, a stealthy flying wing ISR drone built for high risk border and maritime missions. Backed by Ministry of Defense funding and DRDO support, the 4 to 6 hour endurance UAV features low RCS shaping, electric silent propulsion, and modular sensors, including electro optical, infrared, and synthetic aperture radar. With a 150 to 200 kilometers reach and swarm ready design, the VU 60FW enters trials this December, marking a significant leap in indigenous drone innovation. In a decisive move, the Indian Air Force has kept its frontline Tejas MK-1 squadrons flying, even as the Dubai crash investigation continues. Rapid fleet-wide checks found no technical issues, clearing all jets for operations. Early indicators suggest the mishap resulted from a low-level aerobatic energy loss rather than an aircraft flaw. While public display flights are suspended, combat training and border missions remain unaffected, underscoring the IAF's confidence in the Tejas and its continued operational readiness. India's armored warfare future takes shape as DRDO completes detailed designs for its next-generation advanced armored platforms in both wheeled and tracked variants. Built to replace legacy fleets, these AI-enabled, hybrid propulsion vehicles feature composite hulls, modular armor, amphibious capability, and advanced protection suites. At the heart of the breakthrough is India's first crewless turret, offering stabilized firepower and smart munitions. With 2024 marking full blueprint finalization, the project signals a major leap in indigenous armored lethality and battlefield survivability. An emotional farewell marked the final day of Dubai Airshow 2025 as Russia's aerobatic team performed a solemn missing man formation, honoring wing commander Nemanj Sial, the IF pilot who tragically died in a Tejas crash during Friday's display. The Indian Air Force confirmed his passing and initiated a court of inquiry. The deceased pilot was later identified as wing commander Nemanj Sial of Himachal Pradesh's Kangra district. Earlier today, the nation bid its final goodbye as Sial's last rites were held in Himachal Pradesh. Days after the tragic Tejas crash that claimed Wing Commander Nemanch Sial, U.S. aerobatic pilot Captain Taylor Heaster shared a deeply emotional account of what followed. He criticized Dubai Airshow organizers for resuming performances moments after the blaze was extinguished. Out of respect, his team canceled their final display. Heaster described the heartbreak of the Indian crew, standing beside an empty parking spot, calling the experience jarring and a reminder that the people we value are our true legacy. Russia's United Engine Corporation has lifted the veil on its new ISDALI 177 engine family, marking a major leap in next-generation fighter propulsion. The 177S serves as a battle-ready upgrade for Su-35 and Su-57 variants, while the advanced 177 pushes true fifth-gen performance with higher thrust, AI-driven controls, and cutting-edge heat-resistant materials. Both engines deliver up to 20% better fuel efficiency, over 4,000 hours of service life, and full compatibility with AL31F platforms. With supercruise capability, thrust vectoring agility, and export-friendly design, Russia is positioning these power plants as game-changers for global air forces. That's all for now. Hope you like this video. 
Please like, share, and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.